Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Yoel Alvarez versus Elvis Brenner. Joel Alvarez is tw uh, 20 and 3, 4 and 1 in his last five fights. His one loss is Armin Sayuki and got absolutely destroyed in that matchup about two and a half years ago at this point. Got back on track, I believe, against Mark DeCasey, where it should have been a timeout. He had, it was a headbutt, clash of heads, minus 120, basically a pick 'em. 31 years old, 6'3", with a 77-inch reach. Elvis Brenner, 16-4, and 4-1 four, four his last five fights. Lost his last one just under two and a half months ago against uh, Orabai, which was a very fun matchup. Missed way badly, did Elvis Brenner. I believe he, I, I guess he made weight. He didn't look very good on the scale. That's what, okay. 26 years old, 5'10", with a 72-inch reach. Four inches in height, I believe, for Alvarez with a five-inch reach. So we already know Brenner, being a decent striker, more explosive striker, has to cover more ground. His grappling is going to be the uh, advantage he has in this. Alvarez's takedown defense is absolute shit. I know he's able to get finishes off his back sometimes. That's cool. But his takedown defense is very, very bad. As we've seen in all of his fights, he's been taken down in all of them. He has 20 finishes, never been to a decision, never been submitted. He has 11 first round submissions. He's 5 and 2 in the UFC, three submissions, two TKO or KOs, but he's also been finished by Armin Sayukian. So, destroyed Tiago Moises, uh, submitted Yankalayev, beat by Guillotine Joe Duffy. You know, Demir Ismagulov did a lot of good things against him was able to really ground him out in that matchup, stay safe. You know, and, and personally, I think the same thing happens with uh, Elvis Brenner. He's, he's just so much fun to watch. His scrambling is very good. His defense is very, very good. I am worried about him coming back so quickly. 14 finishes, also 11 uh, fi uh, submissions, 8 first round submissions. He has 20 fights overall, so he's three fights less than Joel Alvarez. Three and one in the UFC. Again, he's fought better competition and he's beaten some really, really good fighters. You know, losing to Orbai, who's a very, very good grappler, okay striker. It was a close fight going into that third round and he loses the third and he loses the fight. So before then was on a pretty nice win streak. What is that? Uh, da, 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 one, two, three, four, five overall, but three in the UFC. Um, so yeah, I like Elvis Brenner. I think he does a very, very good job in this matchup simply because Alvarez will always be susceptible to the takedowns, and Brenner is very, very good if he can get on top. Obviously, he wasn't successful, really, I guess, finishing wise against Orbai, but he still was able to get Orbai in places that he wanted him to do. So, that, I'm sure that wasn't the goal for Orbai is to let him, hey, let him get your back. Let him mount you. Probably not the goal, but I like Elvis Brenner. There is a, a world where Alvarez is striking and his ability to finish fighters because that's what he does is he finishes Brenner. But I just think Brenner can stay safe. His ground game is very, very good. His takedown game is also very, very good. You have to mind your P's and Q's, of course, but he also can strike very well as as well. I like Elvis Brenner. Might be a bit of a long shot, but I like Brenner on this one. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.